So in terms of lifting heavy versus lifting lighter weights for more reps, uh, which is more indicative of hypertrophy is the question, um, which being more beneficial to hypertrophy, I guess. So initial thoughts based off the question. So there really isn't going to be a, a big difference as long as volume is equated. There have been multiple studies looking at this. Um, and, and when you equate for volume, you can really do um, lightweight for many reps. As long as the, the, it is above at least like 40% of 1RM and it is taken close to failure. And then if you are lifting heavy, it has to match the volume as if you were lifting for more reps. The only negative thing to doing a lot of um, heavy lifting is that if you equate heavy lifting to um, doing a lot of reps with lighter weight, you're gonna have to do a lot of sets of those, of those heavy lifts. And this can really fatigue you. And in, and in studies where they have matched the volume, the people who did the heavy lifting started to throw up because they had to do that much intense work. Yeah, that would be a massive, massive stimulus. Yeah, one thing I, I wanted to wrong. add, one thing I wanted to add to that was when doing a, when doing the higher reps for a lighter, lighter um, intensity or a lighter percentage, you're going to also accumulate a lot of junk volume um, before, like, you know, you may do with that lighter load of 40% of one RM, you're going to be doing like your first 15 reps may be completely junk and then you start getting the stimulus you start really feeling that stimulation uh, or getting some work done you know rep 16 so the first 15 reps and like i think we've all experienced this through our days of lifting is you know like that feeling of oh, i didn't feel really start feeling it till like rep 12 so i just did 30 and it's like well you probably could have just increased load and not done 30 reps and done like 12. Um, and that would probably would have been more worth your time in the gym. So it's odd that, and I know females are a lot more likely to lift this way um, as they just like to lift more in intensely, um, higher rep and things like that. Um, but I think in terms of all things equated, time spent in the gym, everything like you got really got to be i think moderate load moderate rep count for hypertrophy probably is going to be the best um in terms of bang for your buck in the gym time spent plus load lifted um what do you think about that miguel just kind of like a roundabout i think that uh, lifting in like the 6 to 12 rep range is really ideal for most people and I say this because uh, 12 reps is, is high enough where you're going to be accumulating a lot of volume in a very efficient way. And then six reps, if, if you're doing sets of six, that is not as fatiguing as doing doubles or triples. So right. you're still going to be lifting heavy, but it's not going to be so fatiguing that you're having to take like five minutes between sets and gas for air and then, and, then, and, then, and then die because you have to do like eight sets of two to match volume. Right. Awesome. What do you think, Alex? I yeah, I agree. I, I've had my experience, my my personal experience with both um, types of lifting, and I, I much more prefer the six to twelve rep range than trying to equate volume uh, at such a lower rep range. Then you get to look cool with a pump. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Awesome, guys. Thanks for the question. Be sure to leave a comment below, and we will be sure to answer that question as well.